What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a, for my example, an eyeball look at something by itself without actually animating it yourself. Right, so like, for example, what you could be doing could be completely different. You could just want an enemy to look at someone. This is the same principle. Even if you use it for a game engine, this would work the same way. So, what we want this eyeball to do, we want it to look at this cube for us automatically. We don't want to make it so... We have to animate it looking from here, and then when it goes over here, looking to here. We want it to do it on its own. So, first of all, I want to show you a quick problem that could occur could occur, occur? Hmm. when um, doing it. So, basically, how to do it is um, you click on your object you want. You could be on any of these, and you go to Object Constraints. Add Constraint, Track 2. Select your object, and we want Cube, and... That is my first problem I'm going to show you guys. When you do this, because when I spawned my sphere in the first place, it faces up. So the object resets for some reason when you do this. So just to fix this, you can't rotate it now because it's got a constraint in it. Go into edit mode, select it all, and just move it. And now it automatically looks forward. So another problem I'm going to now show you is it is not looking at the box. It is looking straight. I mean, I don't think any of these will fix that. Nope. But it's looking straight. So when I move this box, it actually doesn't look at the box. It looks like an extra 20 degrees beside it. So now to fix that, what we've got to do is remove the constraint now. There you go. Let's, um... c uh, c uh... Oh, that looks kind of cool. I did not mean to do that. Huh. Alright, um... Basically, un un just undo the effects of your constraint. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. There's no constraint in it now. All right. So you got all you want to do is put it right in front of it, and then apply the constraint. Track to cube. Now, like I said before, just select it all, rotate it down. And now, if I move this cube, the eyeball will look exactly at it. Like I said, depending on what your case is, you could um, just maybe make an enemy look inside. But no matter what, this is how it works. Um, I hope this helped. Anyone who was stuck on how to try to make something tractor psych, if they were trying to parent it or psych. Uh, thank you for watching. I will release some more tutorials. And bye-bye.